Hello, and welcome back to my Pokemon White 2 Unlock. And, well, you might have seen in the beginning, obviously I was starting off with a training montage, and my intent was actually to do the entire episode as just one big training episode, but then as I thought about it, um, I had to go backtrack all the way to Castellia City to do some Audino training, and I realized, hey, if I just go up here to the routes to the east and west of Nimbasa, I can get some more encounters, which might be helpful for this gym, because the more I'm thinking about this gym, the more I'm thinking I'm not adequately prepared to take it on. And then I can also do some fight against some other trainers and do some extra Audino training as well against higher level Audino and level up all that much faster. So just a quick look at my team, because Giza did evolve into a lovely Krokorok. Right here, um, got Crunch. Actually evolved at level 29. I was thinking level 28 because that's the level that Sandile learns Crunch. But anyway, pretty decent stats. Unfortunately, a special attack boosting nature. It is modest. Would have been better to be adamant, but oh well. we'll we're making do. Still a pretty decent attack stat. Chernobyl still rocking the same moveset. Um, yeah, we got Liverpool here, getting close to level 30. New York. Not gonna do as much good against the gym leader. Oaxaca, also not gonna do much good because four times weak to Amolga with who's gonna have either Aerial Ace or Acrobatics, I'm not sure which. And also four times weak to Zebstrika's Flame Charge, so I'm not sure. Mesa might, be, might have to be our go-to for Emolga because when I was thinking about it, I was gonna use Liverpool, but Liverpool has pretty terrible special defense and Emolga's definitely gonna go for Volt Switch. So I think that using Mesa might be a better solution there. I don't know. And I'll save Liverpool for... Does she have Joltik or Galvantula? I think she only has a Joltik, but we'll see. So anyway, we're going to go along Route 16 here. We're going to... Oh, I was going to say we're going to try to avoid the trainers. But it looks like we're going to have to battle this guy first. But we're going to go ahead and get an encounter for Route 16. Maybe something that can help us out a little bit better against Emolga, but we'll see. In the meantime, we have Mesa. Mesa's come through in many pinches for us, being that normal type, nice and neutral to everything. Let's send out Oaxaca to make quick work of this Rilber. Rilber can be kind of nasty, so don't want to take too many chances. And look at that right there, it's honing its claws. Hopefully this Razor Leaf will be enough to take it out. Our attack stat with Oaxaca is pretty good. And Drillbur does not have the best defenses, but the levels are pretty close. It's pretty close to our level, but no, we're gonna take it out. Alright. That was easy enough. Alright, so let's go ahead. And I know there's like a biker, yeah, let's, or triathlete, whatever. We'll fight you later, but first I want to try to get an encounter. One thing I thought about was purposely encountering an Audino on one of these routes so that I could get some Shaking Grass encounters, but that's a little bit um, gaming the system because most of the Shaking gra Grass encounters that are in Audino only have like a 1% chance to appear, so I'm not going to abuse that. One of our unlocks is that we can get any encounter we want on a certain route, so we'll just save it maybe for that. But our first encounter that we're going to try to catch is a Trubbish. Hmm. You know, that's actually not too bad at all. I'm not sure if it has physical or special bulk, but Trubbish and Garboder are pretty bulky Pokemon. So I'm actually not upset in the slightest, and already at a decent level. I know we already have a poison type, but for this gym we can use everything we can get. Oh, I forgot I was going to try to use a Quick Ball on this thing. I do have two more Quick Balls, but we have a pretty good strategy here. We can use that Super Fang with Mesa. And we have Hypnosis, so we'll try to put it back to sleep here. I think of what, the, what to name this thing. Ooh, it's gonna go for Sludge. Hopefully that's not too scary. It did get the poison on us, so if we don't hit this next Hypnosis, I think we're gonna have to heal Mesa. But we do. So we should be able to catch this thing. Let's see. What do I want to name it? I think I want to name it you know, after a city that's another city that's known for pollution, we had like Chernobyl as our Grimer. We could probably name this thing Pittsburgh or something. We already have New York, which, you know, um, let's go ahead with a Great Ball. 
which you know, Unova is kind of, in general, a lot of the Pokemon you find in Unova, since Unova is based on New York City. There's a lot of Pokemon that are kind of meant to represent New York City in a way. But we had this Trubbish, I'm gonna go ahead and name it Pittsburgh or Detroit, what do you think? After, I don't know how, I don't know how polluted Detroit is. I know Pittsburgh is kind of known for being a little bit, uh, polluted. Or I could, um, what's the city? Is it San Francisco that has a lot of smog? But that would be something like to name a coughing. Like, literally bags of garbage. So, like, a litter or a pollution problem? I don't know. I could pull up that list of most polluted cities again, but I'm gonna go ahead with Pittsburgh, because it was the first one that came to mind. No offense to Pittsburgh. I've actually been in that area before, and it's not that bad. But I know Pittsburgh does kind of have a, a reputation for not being the cleanest city in the world. So, you know, you get named after... You get a Trubbish named after you. Alright, let's see something we could have missed out on, and it's another Trubbish, so okay. And I should probably go and heal Mesa, but actually what I want to do, I'm going to go heal, probably. Because I want to go ahead and check out Pittsburgh. And then probably put it on our team, I think. That would be the best solution here, because... As much as I love New York, the Pokémon, she's not going to do really any good for us in this gym. Probably at all. Even Joltik, she'll only do neutral damage to Joltik because it's half electric type. So I think we're gonna have to deposit New York for now. We'll save her. She'll come in handy later for sure. She's definitely a good Pokemon. But for now, I think we can get some good mileage. Well, let's check out. Well, let's check out Pittsburgh stats. Either way, she should be. He should be better for this coming upcoming gym than New York. But let's see. Alright, let's check out... Oh yeah, we also have Montego. Um, let me check out Montego's stats, as a matter of fact, because... He also... Eh, that special defense isn't great. It's... If I level him up, though, it'll probably be better than... What's his name's? Liverpool's. So, actually, he's definitely an option. And, yeah, you're... So you are a fast and lower defense Trubbish. That's unfortunate. You do have Stench, which may cause the target to flinch. You have to be faster than your opponent to do that, and even with your increased speed, I don't know that's gonna be so great, but your special defense is already pretty good at just level 23. I wonder now, though, if I should try to level up Montego. Hmm. Because your attack is, well, it's decent, and you have Sturdy. I don't know. Let's see, because I also know that Oaxaca is not going to be of much use in this gym because of what I just mentioned. So maybe I could put both these guys on the team and level them up a little bit. Um, you know what? Uh, do I want to keep Montego just in reserve? You know what? Let's put them both in the party for now. Let's give it a try. We'll level them up to like level 30. I don't even know what level Dwebble evolves now that I think about it. Or Trubbish, but I don't think, I don't think Trubbish. I don't know, I don't know if Trubbish evolves for our level limit and I have no idea about Dwebble. Maybe I'll have to look that up when I go to do my training. But they'll be in the party for now. Like I said, I think we'll just hold on to them. Um. I wonder if I should go for the other encounter on this route. There's all, because on this route, I have to fight some trainers before I get into the grass, and there's also a hidden grotto. And I do not remember how I said, or if I even mentioned, how to handle hidden grotto encounters. I might just use them like, yeah, see, we're gonna, we're gonna have to do this cutscene here. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna give us fly, which is great, but won't come in handy for now. Um, so, with Hidden Grottoes, yes, I do know about Hidden Grottoes. She's gonna show us where we can find this first one. And I think, I think we're guaranteed to encounter a hidden ability Minchino in here. 
Um, you know what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna count hidden grottos as their own encounters because you're not always guaranteed to run into a Pokemon in a hidden grotto. Like, I'll put it this way. I'm gonna go into a hidden grotto once. And, or like, I'll say once because you don't always find something in a hidden grotto. I'm gonna go into it, whatever I find first. So for example, in this hidden grotto, I think it's guaranteed that you run into a hidden ability Manchino, which could come in handy now that I think about it. If only it could learn, does it learn Rock Blast? If it could learn Rock Blast, that would be perfect. But, anyway. Um, what I'm gonna do with some some hidden grottos, the first thing you find is an item, or a hidden item. And other ones you find, I guess, nothing the first time, and then it refreshes. But anyway, some of them you find a Pokemon. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna allow myself to catch any hidden grotto Pokemon, as long as it's the first thing I find in that hidden grotto. So if the first thing, first thing I find in a hidden grotto is an item, Tough luck, I don't get an encounter. But I'm gonna allow myself to get an encounter in a hidden grotto um, otherwise, if it's the first thing that I find in that hidden grotto. And now I can't go back to this hidden grotto and try to find something else. If something else even spawns in here, I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. We're gonna go for, let me make sure, we're all healed up, right? And we got Mesa up front. All right, we're gonna give this a try, fighting this Minchino. I wonder if, because I think it has skill link, so I wonder if I should even bother trying to go with the Quick Ball. You know what, I think I will. Because I think we can take one set of attacks from this thing. I hope. Let's go ahead and try the Quick Ball. What would I name this thing? Hmm. Well, it's like a chinchilla. I would name it something like after something in, an, in Australia. Okay, and the Quick Ball does catch it. Which is good. This is our hidden grotto encounter for this hidden grotto. And, you know, my luck, I don't, I'm not so great at finding hidden grottos anyway, so don't worry. I probably won't be abusing this very much. So I want to name you after something in Australia. I think the first thing that comes to mind is Sydney. And Sydney... I always thought of it sounding like a girl's name, but I've only ever heard it as a guy's name, I think, in real practice. So I can name this Mincino here, Sydney. We'll have to check him out, too. But before we do that, so yeah, I'm not gonna ever get anything else in this hidden grotto again if anything ever shows up. But we do want to get a tall grass encounter for this route. So let's go ahead and see what we can find. A Lipard. But we already had... I'm gonna invoke Species Claws here, even though a Lipard isn't too bad, I guess. But I'm gonna invoke Species Claws because we did have... Katmandu, our Purloin, our first death, and we can't get away, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I'm gonna invoke Species Claws, part of Dupe's Claws here. Let's go ahead and try to find another encounter. What are we gonna try to catch? Another Lipard. Alright. I mean, I suppose if I just keep running into Lipard, I could eventually just say, alright, I won't invoke species claws anymore, I'll try to catch this Lipard, because I lost Katmandu right at the beginning of the game, but in the spirit of what I'm trying to do here with Dupe's Claws, I'm not, I don't want to go for that. I want to see if there's, is there even anything else I can catch? I mean, I might run into sh some Shaking Grass and run into an Audino that I could try to catch. Yeah, and there's Trubbish. I think what else can be caught around here? I don't know if Fungus can be caught around here. Or, um, Tranquil, which I already have a Tranquil as well. So I might just have to go for the Shaking Grass encounter on this one. But we'll see. We'll give it a couple more tries. Oh, a Solosis. Hmm. A Solosis, indeed. Well, let's go try to put it to sleep gonna go snatch. Does that affect? No, it doesn't. It affects stat increases, I think, only. But it is avoiding that hypnosis like a champ here. All it's going for is snatch. Is that related? Is that why? No, I'm, I'm missing it anyway. Hmm, it has hidden power. What type is it? Well, it's anything but fighting based on that it's neutral. Why do you keep missing? Just gonna go for this hidden power though, so we don't have too much to worry about. 
I'm gonna, I am gonna go ahead and heal, though. Just in the event of, like, a crit. Although I don't think even a crit will knock me out from this range. But we have exactly 50 HP to recover, so let's do that. And another hidden power. Let's try to put this thing to sleep. Does it get any... Does it have any other moves right now? Why? I mean... Okay, at first it would be like, does it have an ability that's making it miss? But it would it would say it's because of the ability. So yeah, I was just having really bad luck hitting that hypnosis. So now we're gonna go ahead and super fang it a couple times. And it woke up fast, of course. Ugh. We're gonna go for one more super fang. I guess I should have just done super fang from the start, but I wanted to try to debilitate it first. To hope it stayed asleep. Okay, we're gonna go try to put it to sleep again. Let's hope we have more luck than last time. Alright, perfect. But yeah, I didn't want to use my last quick ball. I probably didn't even need to use it on that Mancino, but I figured I'd give it a try. But I'm gonna save that last one just in case we need it. Let's not take any ch more chance than we have to. Let's use Great Ball. Hmm, what do I name you? Alright, should I name you something that's very, like, a scientific capital of the world? I don't know. What do I want to name you? They're liquid, they're fine in any environment, no matter how severe. The cell Pokemon. Hmm. And you're female, so what's a, what's an appropriate sounding name? Hmm. Let's see, what could I possibly name you? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, that would make sense. I guess it doesn't have to make sense. But you know, you're kind of like a small cell, but you kind of look like caviar. So what would be a place where you could get some good caviar? Somewhere on the coast. Makes me think of, like, New England. I want to try to pick something from another country, though. I don't know. What other place would have caviar? I want to look this up real quick. I don't know. Do I need to cut out here? It depends on how long it's going to take me. Let's see. Let's see if I can look up cities that are famous for caviar or something like that. Going for a truly roundabout solution here. Hmm. Not helping me here, internet. I suppose I should just look for, like, cities tied to genetic research or something like that. But I, I like this solution, maybe. Hmm. Well, here's a brand of caviar. Where do you come from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Founded in Paris. Okay, so this company boasting the world's best caviar is from Paris. And I thought of, I thought a name of a French city might be suitable for you. I don't know why, but you are, you are a lady, Solosis. So yeah, why not? I'm gonna call you Paris. Doesn't have to make perfect sense, right? Paris is a pretty name. Not Paris, like the Pokemon, I guess. All right, well, let's go ahead now and take a look. Let's try to avoid this breeder if we can. All right, we did. We'll go back and fight them later maybe, but I think I'm gonna go back to Route 16 for my training. But let's go and check out Paris first. Just to see if maybe we want to put her on the team instead of one of the other two we just... Come on, come on, get in the... Alright, I'm getting off the bike. Apparently I, I can't ride a bike very well. Alright. Okay, let's go take a look at our Solosis, Paris.
and you have Overcoat. I'm not sure what that, what does that ability do? Protects Pokemon from weather damage. Um, and heightened defense and lowered attack. That is not great, but not terrible either. And you're holding a person berry, which I need to take away. You have light screen. I mean, I could set up with you. Um... You know, I was thinking, with hidden power, I know it's supposed to be hidden, but they should just give it the t attack type that it is. Unless it actually happens to be hidden power normal. Is it hidden power normal? I've never seen hidden power show the type before, though, so that's probably not. It's probably whatever. Um, and it's pretty low power hidden power, I think, unfortunately. Um, special attack, pretty good. Special defense and special defense, not fantastic. So I don't think I need you for now. I'll take your item, though, because that is illegal until we beat this next gym to hold items. Oh, oh, we have to check out also um, our Mancino, Sydney. Your ability is Skill Link, and you have Double Slap, but that's all right now that you have. You're also holding a Chesto Berry, so I have to take that from you. Your defenses aren't great either, so I'm going to keep you guys in storage for now. You guys could be great later. I mean, Reuniclus, I think, is a pretty good Pokemon. And... Minchino, Chinchino could be pretty good, but I'm gonna wait on that. Um, after this gym, maybe I could put Mesa into retirement and have Sydney come in instead, but really Mesa's been pretty good. So we'll see. Anyway, we're gonna go and do some training now. We're gonna do some, try to look for some Audino. Let's try to do some switch training with Pittsburgh here. And I'm gonna buy some more super repels, I guess. I have some, I have some money. I can afford some. Yeah, let's go ahead with that. Because I don't know if I'll find a convenient grass patch there. But anyway, so the rest of this episode is just gonna be a training montage. So I'm gonna call off the episode right here, or the commentary portion of the episode. The rest is gonna be training. So if you, if you wanna watch the rest of it, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, That'll do it, so if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like if you're excited for the upcoming gym battle, should be in the next episode. And also subscribe if you really, you know, if you haven't yet subscribed and you really like my videos, I would really appreciate it. And go ahead and share, you know, share with your friends that maybe might like this series, that would be cool too. Also, if you'd like to check me out on social media, you can like my page on Facebook or follow me on Twitter, the links are in the description. And also, don't forget to check out the collab channel Team Eclipse that I am a part of. They do some cool stuff as well. And I have a Let's Play of Pokemon Y, a Pokemon Y Wonderlock, in fact, going on right now. And that'll do it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, or if you continue to watch the rest of this episode. And I will see you on the next episode of my Pokemon White 2 Unlock.